Hey everyone, I'm Sadie. Over the past few years, we have been diving deep into the best available data that will allow us to identify resilience hotspots. These are lands in need of stewardship or protection that are also at risk of climate hazards and have the opportunity to benefit frontline communities. For the mapping and data analysis phase of our hotspots project, we combined climate data, conservation priorities, and social vulnerability metrics to uncover places around the Bay Area that are critical to building resilience to wildfires, floods, and extreme heat. And we are doing this work in partnership with local leaders, the many hidden heroes around the region who are key to implementing the projects that are vital for protecting our natural assets and bolstering communities' resilience to climate change. An important consideration we had to account for when thinking about how to map and measure risk was how to capture not only the physical characteristics that put a place at risk, like unmanaged forest or homes in a flood zone, but also the social and economic characteristics that can make it harder for certain populations to respond and recover in the face of disaster. When talking about climate resilience, we call this social vulnerability. During our analysis, we realized that there was a gap in available data for understanding the needs of our communities during a wildfire. So we created the Wildfire Social Vulnerability Index as both an input to our own resilience hotspots analysis and as a shareable resource for our partners. To create this index, we relied heavily on existing research and data to develop indicators in six areas. We then evaluated our 15 indicators relative to the Bay Area, which means that our Wildfire Social Vulnerability Index is one of a kind in its ability to rank census tracts relative to our region alone but this information is actually critical to identifying places that may not be showing up at the state or federal levels as disadvantaged communities, but are nonetheless experiencing conditions that make adapting and responding to climate change especially challenging. This index is just one piece of the full Resilience Hotspots project, which will launch in 2023 as a Bay Area-wide effort to better prepare communities for a more resilient future and position the region to contribute to California's 30 by 30 goals. But the data and mapping are only one side of the story. My colleague Blanca is here today to tell you more about how we've been working to support local stakeholders in co-creating resources for adapting to climate impacts through nature-based solutions. Hi everyone, I'm Blanca. As Sadie mentioned, there are two key components to executing our one-of-a-kind resilience hotspots research. The spatial analysis and the community partnerships that are key to ground truthing the data and producing resources for action rooted in community priorities. The only way we can do this is by partnering with local leaders and providing the support necessary for taking abstract concepts of climate risks and turning them into tangible projects ready for implementation. The work that I'm doing in Sonoma County right now is a great example of this. Sonoma County, as many of you know, and may have even experienced firsthand, is at high risk for wildfires but it also has an incredible opportunity to leverage its various natural and working lands to create buffers to wildfires. These types of buffers, when properly managed, have the ability to provide nearby communities and the environment with multiple benefits. That is why right now we are working on convening cross-sector stakeholders, including the Latinx and farm worker communities in Sonoma County on our Sonoma Wildfire Pilot Program. This program will translate fire science and community identified priorities into policy recommendations. It will also be used to identify strategic locations for green belt buffers to protect vulnerable people and places from wildfire. To do this, we are seeking to create a community led working group that will partner with technical experts to provide policy recommendations and also identify wildfire buffers. I am thrilled to see our work in action in Sonoma County. And as it's a pilot program, I'm also encouraged to see that it could be replicated in other communities, like those our hidden heroes work in. We can't wait to share this with all of you soon.